Hey everybody, it is Luke and I'm here with my friend Heidi. Hello. She's joining us today, so super special guest today. So Heidi, uh, the reason she's on because I think Heidi is Heidi's pretty awesome. Uh, let's tell her story really quick. So she started four years ago. Four years ago in the Spring Challenge. Spring Challenge, four years ago. Was it uh, uh, Suns Out, Guns Out? Oh, yeah. It been must have been. Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> so uh, now, it's, now it's Spring Meltdown. Spring meltdown. Yeah, so anyway, so that was four years ago. Mm-hmm. You made some awesome progress, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, tell us just a little bit about that. About my progress over the last four years? Your experience over the last four years. Well, it started just with coming here. I started the spring challenge, and we did six-week challenges at the time. Yep. And there was a one-week free trial, so I thought, oh, I'll just try it for a week. And I did it for a week, and I'm like, well, I can try it for maybe the rest of the challenge. And then now I've been here for four years. I haven't left. My progress over the time is losing about 55 pounds and gaining a lot of lean mass, gaining a lot yeah. of confidence. And now it's kind of an addiction. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for sharing it. It's so now follow up question. Mm-hmm. Was it like always bubblegum and rainbows or was it kind of some ups and some downs? Oh my gosh. It's been like this the entire time. Okay. But I think that that's pretty normal, right? Like Absolutely. you would have your ebbs and flows and uh-huh. even right now I'm not feeling like the strongest that I felt, but I still try to stay consistent and keep yeah. coming. And, Consistency yeah. is the key. So yeah, so that's why she, yeah, that's why she's here and she's going to, we're gonna go through three tips. So three tips to help you crush this summer. Sound good? Sounds great. Let's get started, sit down. Uh, week eight tips, so this is titled, Now what? what? Okay, so now what Now what do we do after the challenge? There's not a challenge in the summer. So here's here's three tips. I'm gonna give you these tips and we're gonna, we're gonna dive into them. Uh, nutrition, 80-20 rule. Uh, exercise, just keep it moving, baby. And then with supplements, complete the triangle, AKA do angle. So let's first dive into the nutrition tip, the 80-20 rule. So I'm going to tap into Heidi's mind for this. So Heidi, give us some, some So uh, the 80-20 rule basically is, you know, follow your plan 80% of the time and give yourself about 20% of the time for grace. So with summer coming up, we are going to have lots of bonfires and barbecues and probably beer. And all of those things don't necessarily have to mean that you give up your entire plan right. for your goals and what you have working towards or what you are working towards so you know plan that burger and brat and beer and just maybe balance it out with you know a better day earlier or Mm -hmm. follow it up the next day with you know making a plan to eat healthier don't punish yourself for you know the beer that you drink but maybe just make it part of your plan plan it the day before and eat healthier or better choices in the mornings yeah. I, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm a planner, so I plan my days like the night before, <laughs> right. and then I know what I'm going to expect the next day. And sometimes that doesn't allow for a lot of flexibility, which also is a difficult thing for me. But if I, you know, plan it the night before and I'm going to write in all the things that I'm going to eat and drink, and then the next day I can fill it in the rest of my day. So I hit my protein goals is always my main goal, and then making sure to drink water and yeah, really good. I love it. So failing to plan is planning to fail. Sure. Have a I plan. Like that. Have a plan. And knowing that at twenty percent of your day, if you're going to you know to grandma's house, she has her famous um, hot dog, hot dish, chicken, rice salad, whatever. Yeah. Knowing you're gonna have grandma's special dish, like plan accordingly. Just nail the rest of your day. Right. I like that. Crush the rest of your day. Crush eighty percent of your day. All right. Yeah. Like I love it. Don't don't beat yourself up. Just know that uh, the summertime is gonna uh, present some. Some opportunities. Oh, I say challenges. And yes, opportunities to, to enjoy enjoy the summer and have some fun. And um, food's an emotional thing, and it's a it's a yummy thing. It's 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 you know it's good to experience those things. There's nothing wrong with that. If you struggle with this over the summer, guess what? Congratulations, you're a human. Way to go. We all do it, and it's yeah. just something that we all we all um, have to think about. So and just don't uh, throw away the rest of your day just because you. Uh, you know, indulge one part of your day. Don't just say like, oh, screw it. I already failed once. I'm just going right. to wreck the rest of my day. Just get back on track. Yeah. That's the goal. Right. I thought you were going to say, don't, don't throw, I think you said, don't throw the rest of don't throw the rest grandma's of the hot, hot dog, salad, <laughs> yeah. hot dish, rice thing. Give it to yeah, me. Don't do that <laughs> okay. So 80, 20 rule. I love it. Thank you for that. So let's talk exercise. So this plays into it too, right? So, um, 80, 20 rule. So if, if knowing that you're going to indulge in some hot dog salad, 
sandwiches. <laughs> That's not gross. I don't miss your exercise. So let's let's talk about the two enemies of movement. Okay, uh, boredom and injury. So we're going to talk about those in a second. So just give us some some thoughts on on keeping moving during the summer and just keeping it going. Well, I think because we are cooped up in our house for a good chunk of our days living here in Minnesota, or a good chunk of our months living yeah. here in Minnesota, I think like enjoying this nice summer weather we have. So even though we don't have a structured challenge going on, you can still challenge yourself yeah. to try something new. Um, get out there, keep moving. Um, oh, you can go to the bathroom. Yeah. Find a new hobby. <laughs> so over the last couple of years, I've tried a few different things and really enjoyed it. The mountain biking was one thing. Um, I tried tennis last summer, pickleball this summer. And like, there's a huge group of people who want to maintain activity during the summer that are here right now in the VIP group that we're yeah. probably this video is in. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, just reach out. Like, if you want to do something, there's a lot of people that are out here wanting to do something too. So you can just put it in there, like, hey, I want to try this. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a huge structured activity. Either. Like, yeah. you can just go for a walk. We have trails in Elk River. Like, go to the woodlands and go for a walk. Go for a hike. Yep. Just enjoy being outside and yeah. keeping on moving um, something in your day that's not, you know, just intentional movement, I guess mm -hmm. is my thought. I love it. And uh, the, I, I put an enemy of exercise or an enemy of movement is boredom. Yeah. You know, so having something new to do is yeah. is hopefully going to help help you battle that. And it's, it's not, I'm not saying it's, it's way easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? Like you started mountain biking out of the blue a couple years ago right. and it's 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 an exciting thing it can be scary for some people mm -hmm. and it's it's just know that it's you can road bike too you yeah yeah to absolutely absolutely it's, it's easier said than done you can go for a walk yeah. you can get a kayak kayaking and canoeing awesome workout connect with a neighbor it's always mm -hmm. easier to have some accountability like walk to your neighbor's house go for a walk with them yeah euchers i'll be calling you <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so you might have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and go ask right. somebody yeah. Right. And uh, which is OK. So just know that it's not e it's it's easier said than done. But we have this VIP gr group yep. that you can connect with people on. And hopefully you do that. So now injuries. Yeah. So Heidi, you've dealt with this a little bit here, too. Yeah. So so let's talk about uh, injuries. So we have the, the chronic injury and the acute injury. Okay. Right. So the, the acute injury would be something that happened uh, like right then and now, like you yeah. fell down sprained your knee that's an acute injury uh lower back pain sometimes like knee knee aching pain things like that things that hurt that you didn't really uh you don't know why yeah you don't know why you did it you don't remember like actually injuring it it just happened chronically oh, no, over four years yeah okay years. Like, like you said it's not a straight line of success yeah. it's, it's some ups and downs yep. and ebbs and flows part of that is um it's just, slight injuries yeah well the injuries over time i've dealt with shoulder things for yeah. a long time it was wrist stuff and it was more of like a hazard of my work and you know, wrist things shoulder things back things this last month or two i've been dealing with some low back pain again i don't know exactly what happened it just kind of all of a sudden started and then um i but i still came so i mm -hmm. remained consistent in my time here the time in the gym try to keep moving even though it, sometimes maybe i should have yep. sat down and taken a little bit of a break but then talking with you and working with some yeah. plans. And then the fact that we have great trainers here yep. who can modify anything that we do to make it fit. So there are a lot of things I couldn't do just because I couldn't lean over and yeah. bend over. So we, you, you said too, which was really great when you said like, what can you do and give 100% to? And so I said like upper body, you're yep. like, good, give 100% to upper body and then we'll modify your lower body stuff. Yep and give 100% of what you can do. And yeah. that was a, a real helpful thing for me to hear. Too. Yeah. Well, yeah, and Heidi's, we didn't mention this, Heidi's in her internship, so she had that lower back, that'd be more of a chronic injury, I think, yeah. right? At this point. And, and uh, so we just modified. So she had a hard time doing deadlifts, so we, I showed her specifically how to do a single leg deadlift and how to do it properly. And, um, and why I needed to yeah. do it, because I need to build up other areas around my you mm -hmm. know, back to strengthen that. Yep. You know. Try to alleviate the pain yep. problem. Right, and not all of you are in the internship, so that's why I want to make sure you guys know about uh, our new client special. It's it's a one-on-one -on -one training client special for anybody that has never done one-on-one -on -one before. Uh, it's a three for ninety-nine. So if you're in group uh, classes with us, it might be a good idea for everybody to do this. Not all at once, though. We don't have that many many coaches ready. So, but no, it's 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 great. So you yeah. can you can meet with a coach, and if you have certain things that you feel. Uh, 
you could maximize, right? So like, for example, rather than going um, like half, 75% or 50% on an on a RDL, yeah. uh, well, she might be able to go to, uh, go to close to 100% on a single leg RDL. Yeah. Slow and controlled, focus on the tempo, you know, things like that. So there's certain things that you can figure out in your wheelhouse that's, right. that's gonna be helpful for you. And it might just take a few sessions. So three 30 minute sessions for 99 bucks to, to help to help figure that out. So uh-huh. yeah. Lastly, let's talk supplements. Okay, okay so we're gonna kind of put it all together here. So this is the, the do angle, right? And Not uh, the try angle, Yeah, you don't try. You yes, do. exactly, we are doing this. I've heard that before. <laughs> yes, so this is the do angle. The, being that it is a do angle, we, let's do all of these things. So now, for example, say that summertime happens like, like we're in now and mm-hmm. you want to have waffle fries on the deck like, or whatever, right? So you're, you're not going to follow your challenge plan as, as it's dialed in. Let's focus on supplements and exercise, okay? So if you're going to slip on nutrition, let's focus on the other two pieces of the do angle and maximize these things. So, for example, say that your nutrition, you know your nutrition is going to slip a little bit. Let's add in, maybe you've never taken a multivitamin before. Okay, maybe you start taking a multivitamin and a fish oil, and that'll, and that'll help you still have positive benefits in your program, even though you're not maximizing nutrition. Okay, so that, that might be something that you can you can look into doing, making sure that you're doing your pre-workout and your post-workout for uh, around your, around your uh, strength training routine. It's, that's gonna be important too, so just make sure you're doing all of those things. And uh, like I said, just know if nutrition slacks, let's pick up supplements and exercise. So don't miss on exercise nail your supplements and making up for a little uh, uh, lax in your nutrition over the summer. Yeah. Any thoughts? No, I think it sounds good. I think even just like when you talk about just intentional movement too, I think that that's like the biggest key for me and just to keep moving, Mm -hmm. but also like realizing like there's little things that we do every day that can help increase like our needs and moving around and just, you know, whether it's, you know, gardening or just getting out, like you don't always have to have a big plan for an hour long you know, I'm going to go run for an hour Yeah. or just anything, but yeah. gardening, mowing your lawn, cleaning your house, fidgeting like yeah. me through this video, <laughs> but, like <laughs> all those things are things that are going to help, you know, just help you burn right. those calories. That yeah. Are, if you're one of those people that has a city lot and has, has a riding lawnmower, sell that riding lawnmower. Push it. Just push yeah, get a pusher, sell the, <laughs> sell the rider and then use that to pay for more sessions at Fit Club. And you're going to be healthier too. So, uh, so this has been great. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. So now last slide here, we're just going to make sure you guys know about the awards on June 11th, not June 10th. It's on Saturday exactly. after boot camp, And so it's going to be nice that day. I promise it's going to be sunny and it's going to be great. Uh, we'll have more details coming out, but, uh, plan on after the 915 boot camp, we're going to get together and celebrate awesome wins from, from not just the spring meltdown, but from the entire yeah, so this is when we find out the people's choice. We're, we're going to find out who the, who the people's choice people are. are. Yep. Cool. Yep. So uh, come ready to have some fun and relax and want to bring a, bring a beverage of your choice. We'll have some food here. So, but we'll get more details out to you. So anything else? No, we're good. You guys are the best. Thank you. Bye.